All right. If you can hear me, type five. One thousand LP is one game away. One second place. Two thirds or three fourths. I'm actually kind of tired today. I did not sleep very well. But sure that I can turn my brain on for two or three games. Yeah, imagine I just immediately log in, win, hit a thousand LP, and stream Giga Chad. That'd be nice. Uh, make sure to type here just to check in for the day. Is there a set? Oh, thank you, Ishvano. Is there a set you would play for fun if it did get revived? Uh, I feel like it's not about the design of the set. It's about the the competition. I play TFT because other good players play TFT. I don't want to beat them. I want to kick their ass and then eat it. So, like, if set five point five had like a competitive ladder, I would play it. Dude, I really like Mega Bellum from yesterday. The the sponsor game. I ended up playing it for like six hours last night. What a fun game. There's a ladder. It's not a real ladder. You like don't lose LP. It's more like uh, how many games have you played?
Oh, oh, look, crazy's bad. Welcome. Is there a possibility of you playing set 5.5 if you hit 1,000 LP? Today? No, I, I didn't sleep very well, so it's going to be a short stream. Uh, in general, I might revisit it. I, I played one game yesterday, and it was actually very fun of set 5.5. Like, it was very nostalgic. Um, again, my main issue is the, the competition. There's just none. Hello, Bitbar Lily. Thanks for seven months. How long do you think it'll take for you to get depressed? Uh, yeah, so my title says, I'll end my stream when I hit 1,000 LP or get depressed. Uh, I would say if I bought four twice in a row, I'd be depressed. In general, I expect this to be like a three-hour stream. Okay, I have a feeling that the queue is right about to pop. It's staring at me, menacingly. I'm gonna stare back. God, how fucking cool would it be if it popped right now? It's okay. If it's not gonna pop now, we can always rely on the good old 601 pop. Use a pickup line on the queue. Do people have pickup lines memorized? I do not. Oh, I know. Are you today's date? Because you're 10 out of 10. That only works on October, uh, in October. The queue will pop in 6 minutes and 20 seconds. No, if it doesn't pop by 6 minutes, it always pops on 601. It's like the way the queue is designed. It's like guaranteed to pop at 6 minutes in 1 second. I don't know like, the exact workings of the queue, but I know that um, at six minutes of no, not finding a match, it massively widens the range of which players you can face. Uh, until then, it's like it tries to find people around your rank, and then if it can't, it just uh, puts you in like a much w wider pool of players. My queue yesterday was 22 minutes. I mean, what region are you playing in? Maybe it was like less populated. Prismatic finale, okay. All right, let's do this. Master, forgive me just this once, I'm gonna go all out. Go ahead and copy and paste this onto your clipboard. Actually, before you do, go ahead and click on your chat window and press Control V and paste. I would like to see what's on your clipboard. No one escapes my bow. Randomly of Eldritch. Give me your rod. Oh shit. Okay, I actually like these options a lot. Um, I want to hold a lot of these. Oh yeah. Crap. I want to hold a lot of these. Uh. I'm out. There's the multi the angle. Land. There's the scholar angle. There's the eldritch angle. There's also fairies. Probably sell the uh, unless I get Quincy's, I'll probably sell the multis. There's nothing we can't do together. Oh, Royal Guard. I didn't buy the tryst.
Alright, I'm pretty weak. I did it! I won! So funny. Acting like magic hurts. Okay, wait. What if I played... Like, for real, for real? What if I played Ari reroll here? I've got two Ari's. What are Ari's best items? I, I feel like Ari's good. I don't know if I'm willing to risk my 1000 LP game on it, but I feel like early Ari's actually kind of good. Her best items is anti-heal and then like archangels oh wait oh, snap. I'll take hang on time to use these rolls right now and get some direction Maybe I can play for a bit of a win streak here. Sorry, my brain was slow, but there's a lot of options to consider there. I had to either play around the Seraphine or play around the Zoe. I have two Ari's, so I'm down to play around the, the Zoe. It's also much more flexible. There's maybe an option to reroll if I hit a couple more Zoe's. But I'm so poor. Stay down Mordekaiser pair. Uh, what do I want to do here? Mordekaiser 2 is really good if I hit it, but I feel like it's a bit unrealistic here. This is my best board. I can maybe justify pre-leveling. Okay. Wait, no, I, I should probably make 10. Well, hang on. Pre-leveling is actually kind of interesting here. Alright! I'm banking on hitting a Mordekaiser. Come on! Give me a Mordekaiser, Ari, or Blitz. Or Blitz, Ari, Mord. B-A-M. If I hit one of these three, I can streak real good. Hello, Pine Pipili. Welcome. Uh, as for item, the best thing I can get here is a tier. Bow is decent, belt is decent, rod is decent. Oh shit, I'm probably not getting this tier. Oh, I actually got the tier. That's crazy. Three gold tier is so good here. It's also on an Ezreal, so I can play portal. Okay, that's actually just like crazy good for me. What the heck? All right, I gotta sell one more. Okay, I mean, I've got a pretty flexible portal game. Pumping up, not bad. I'm a little worried about if I'm gonna lose. These two players seem strong, they have Gwinsu Slam. Oh, a lot of players have Gwinsu Slam. Nah, trust in Zoe, trust in Zoe. She's got this. Oh, I'm surprised. I got stunned like six times. It shouldn't matter. All right, Ari Blitz. Ari or Blitz. Oh, and I get a charm here. Combat charm, please. Oh, interesting. Okay, I'm definitely facing Mr. 100. Magic goes in, might comes out. 
Our future will be bright. Oh shit. Wait, this is really scary. I know I'm facing him for sure. Hopefully this positioning wins. Wait, this guy's level 430 gold. How are you win streaking level 430 gold? How am I win streaking with pumping up? Make it make sense. Nobody's playing to win. Well, sorry, nobody's playing to win the early game. Everybody's just playing to lose streak and then get their strong boards. How the hell did I five streak, man? I mean, thank God that I did though. I was definitely screwed if I didn't. Okay, we have a standard game on our hands here. Just a uh, early portal, play some flex AP. Either end in Xerath or Rise. I do have five portal. All right. All right, let's do this. I feel good. Five streak when pumping up, that's gotta be a good sign. Everybody's just playing for a loose streak, it's crazy. So many open porters. Give me chain or glove. Okay. What are the best comps on the set revival? I have no idea, sorry. Okay, I'm gonna roll once for charm. I'm sitting on a lot of pairs. One roll. Oh wait, I think I had a stronger board. I think I could have played four shapeshifter here. Oh. Yeah, I could have played four shape here. That's my bad. If I lost for that reason, I would not forgive myself. That's a pretty big mistake. Luckily, everybody's still kind of weak. Alright, Portal Crest, I win the game. Placebo? That's a lot of money. Recombobulator? Oh, if only I had a two star Nico. Nah, it's not that good here. I'm, I'm sitting in too many pairs. You can move freely on Carousel. Uh, I'm actually not too big with my items here. I feel like I'd rather go Placebo and then instantly level up here. Think you can win. Actually, hang on. Do I even need to level? Magic coming at you. Oh, I don't think I need to level. It would guarantee to keep my streak, but I'm sitting here thinking like, am I really gonna lose? Nobody's spiked yet. I can wait too. The old box box would cycle level here and win streak. And I'd be on the same like econ level as everybody else. The new and improved box box recognizes that he's gonna win streak anyway off this RE2. Doesn't level. And then gets gets like 10 gold ahead of the lobby. This could be the first ever Mr. 99. Nah, I'm feeding Briar 33 times. Until I die. Okay, so we didn't hit Portal Crest, so we're probably gonna drop the portals later. But like, Shapeshifter, Scholar, very strong. Okay! Alright, that's an instant pivot from me, dog. The dragon nears. Is Shiv a permanent item for Ari this game? Uh, it's kind of weird, because Shiv is very high value on like, Rise. But... If you had like full flexibility for items, I would personally do something like uh, Shiv on Ari or Shiv on Nora or whatever, and then three AP items on Rise. 
right? Shiv is like very efficient on Rise if you like don't have infinite items. So who knows? You get a lot of removers, so it should be pretty easy. Any plans to play more Machiavelli on stream? Dude, that game was so fun. After my sponsor was stream was over, I played it for six more hours last night. I taught a bunch of my friends how to play. Insanely fun the game. Why does it look like you are fapping? Oh, sorry, I'm shaking my legs. It's an ADHD thing. It's a crippling ADHD thing. I'm shaking my legs, which like kind of vibrates my body. And it looks like I'm masturbating. If I took Young, Wild, and Free, what would I have taken here? I guess it would have been Rise with Sword and you just like have a weird sword, but you get a Rise. Nah, I'm, I'm pretty happy with Placebo. I think 15 gold uh, is good. Oh my god, imagine I get this tier. What the heck? That's crazy. Okay, if I magic Archangels, I think this game is over. Alright, now I can level. Um, I think I want to hold on to this Fiora. And I'm down to drop Ezreal because we're, we're most likely not going to play it. Is there anything I can get from all ones here? I can get Jace. Jace! Do I want to play this uh, Fiora later? I mean, my items say no. All right, I'm going to sell. So what am I looking at right now? It's most likely going to be a... The main direction is we are we are tanky with shapeshifters. So I'm down to pencil that in. Uh, and then we have Shiv and a lot of attack speed. So I'm thinking, I mean, it's just Rise or Karma, basically. You know the drill. Rise, Karma, maybe Gwen, Fiora, Morgana, Rakan. It's super standard. Uh, the main goal is to go 9, get Briar 2. There's the other direction you can go where you go like Arcana. It's a little difficult, but could try. Uh, down to roll once here for a charm. Combat charm. Oh, that's pretty good. The dragon okay, uh, I should scout here and see if anybody beats me. You do not beat me. You don't beat me. And you don't... Oh, that zig's a little scary. But you don't beat me. Alright, everybody stand behind Giga Ched, Mommy, Nico. Hi, Boxbox. Can I have a happy birthday? Oh, I'll do you one better. I'll wish you a moderately decent birthday. But yeah, two star Nico in stage three with two items is crazy. My items are like perfect right now. Okay, people, like almost all seven players in this lobby or all my opponents are like inting. Or by inting, I mean like uh, playing weak boards now to get strong boards later. So, I can either just like chill, except that my streak will be over. All right, hang on. I can chill, except that my streak will be over. Or I can attempt to keep my streak. I always want to play to, uh, to keep my streak. I always want to. But uh, if, I, if I roll level and like lose, uh, the game is going to be in a tough spot. But I swear I can do it. I swear I can do it. I never, I, I never want to play the game in a, in a spot where like my, I lost because my units are all out of the pool. Okay, I have so much money. Oh my god, I got Archangels. The answer lies within. We are one. Delicious. Are we best friends now? Make haste. Crap. I didn't finish my turn. I hit a Nora. Fuck, I hit a Nora. Please, please don't lose. Please don't lose. My board is so good if I just like live. I rolled a little slow. That was my fault. 
Okay. Clear bench, clear mind. Uh, it could actually be egg here. I'm gonna do it. All right, roll until I hit some spike. Uh, it is most likely not. Oh, hang on. Okay, sorry. I, I'm a little dizzy. I gotta focus really hard. I gotta hatch this egg. I have a, I have a very interesting board because normally normally it's Rise here, but I have this Nora. I have a Gwen too, but no real items for her. And I have like all these support units. I really need to hatch this egg and then put all my items on Gwen. Okay. Should I keep rolling or should I chill? Let me think. Uh, I'll roll until combat charm. I'm like praying that Melio prints items for Gwen. It's definitely a bit awkward. I'm I'm so strong for like 4-2. If I can hatch this egg and then just throw these items on Melio, I think I get first place. It's a it's a pretty good level 8 board. Thank god I didn't lose that one round where I didn't finish my roll down. My brain was definitely a little slow there. If if I if I got unlucky and faced a strong player, the game was over there. Okay. Giving up on it was painful. Actually, do I want to give up on Gwen 3? Oh crap. I tried to sell the Gwen and I messed up. Uh, it's, I'm like scared to go for Gwen 3. I keep throwing games going for 3 stars. But if she's uncontested... Oh, she is. Hello, that weird jelly kid. Welcome. Oh, I need anti-heal. Oh my god. If I get that bow, then every single item has worked out perfectly for me. Okay, no problem. Titans, Gwen. Wait. The answer lies within. Okay, I I was actually unsure. If you have a Fjord two and a Gwen two, who's the Titans better on? I, I feel like it's actually Gwen, because Fiora will go in and die before you can really scale up. I think if it was a three item Fiora, it'd be a different story. But she does kind of just like go in and immediately die. Okay, that was unfortunate. I got owned. Okay, no problem, no problem. I still have a lot of HP. I think Karma might be better than Nora. Yeah, Karma might be better. Alright, roll for turn. The power of 
friendship. Watch out for us. Hmm. Why declaw Gwen over Nico? Uh, it's because Melio's gonna print two items. So he'll print an I a third item for Nico and a third item for Gwen. If you declaw the Nico, he'll print a second item for Gwen and a first item for like somebody, and it's not that good. Wait, now I get two three item carries. I'm not expecting to win any of these fights, but if I could just save HP. I'm guaranteed to attach my eggs, so I think I just chill and go nine. Not a bad loss. I'll just roll for charm every round. If I hit Nasus 2 or Karma 2, I'm in a great spot. But yeah, wow. This game actually worked out really well without even hitting Rise. Good flex game. What are we looking at? Jinx Wukong. I'm trying to so healthy without hitting. Callista, Rakan, Varus, Rise, Arcana, Ash Rural, Callista, Rakan. Me something. Hello? Riser Karma? What? I could have gone for Nico 3 actually. Why didn't you save and go 9? Uh, anime shop is just really efficient. So like, it's usually almost worth buying. If you need to see champions, it's very worth buying. Crap. Man, I just skip our con. Okay, it's fine. Sack three, go nine. Okay, it's a little unfortunate I'm facing him now that he hit. But. We've high rolled a lot this game, I won't complain. Just get ready to go nine. So, what do I want from here? Uh, there's room for Briar. Uh, there's room for Morgana. There is room for Rakan. That's basically it. All right, roll once for Charm. I never hold back. I like the Melio here a lot, because I'm sitting on a lot of two-item carries. Mm. Need another remover. Move items to Nasus. Oh, if I win this round, it's actually huge. Thank god I won those earlier rounds. Holy shit. If I was, like... At three instead of two here, I'd be so fucked. Oh wait, winning this is actually just so huge. What the heck? He just gave up. I didn't even get to see my cutscene. Oh, shapeshifter spat. Wait, shapeshifter spat's huge. Why is going at zero Titan stacks? Oh, I wasn't paying attention, but that must be a visual bug. 
Okay, shapeshifter spats humongous. I should I hit a briar now? All right, well my egg is gonna hatch. Oh, what the heck? This place needs a harsh winter. Okay, I'm gonna try for the Gwen 3. I need to move these items off of Nico. Hollow purple. Nice. I am okay, only uh, as wild as magic. I am only as wild as magic. Let me just roll here. I think I'm down to do this. Nico back in her Nico scan. Challenge accepted. Okay, I I think I'm supposed to drop fewer Gwen now. Yeah, I think I'm supposed to drop fewer Gwen now that I have Diana. I actually was watching Soju's stream right before this, and he was just like, I can't wait to sell these two shitters, Fiora and Gwen, for Morgana and Diana. And I kind of have exactly that setup. Okay, no problem. I still got lives. Nico back in her Nico okay, wait. <laughs> okay, don't, don't even feed Briar. I actually need as many lives as possible. Uh. I'm gonna sell these Melios. All right, it's uncontested. Just gotta hit one, get Morgana. In the if I lose, I'll I like I'll just dupe the Morgana or dupe the Nico. It sucks, but beauty and life. Hmm, I feel a blizzard coming. Okay, nice. What a game. I got shapeshifting Gwen 3. And what's even crazier is like I saved the dupe. <laughs> uh, now I can just use it on whoever I want. I mean, oh. Okay, I think I should sell this Diana for a Morgana. Get Preserver in. And like, it's, it's kind of weird that my items are not a shapeshifter, but Diana was Diana, so I was down for her. Try for Major Plymorph. Uh, I mean, if I see it, I'm down. But I kind of wanted to take my 1000 LP. What a great game. Everything kind of worked out. Pumping up win streak, everybody is lose streaking, man. Why does it say I have a 27% chance of winning? I mean, no way Shapeshifter Briar 2 loses, right? <laughs> or what? No way Shapeshifter Gwen 3 loses. Her items aren't the greatest, but it's like good enough, right? She's got healing, she stacks up, and she's ultra tanky.
Isn't Major Polymorph auto win? Yes, but what I'm saying is I'm not gonna not buy a charm. I never hold back. You fought my magic evil. Nico, teach you a lesson. Time flies like an arrow. Fruit flies like a banana. Yeah, I, I'm not gonna like potentially throw because Gwen 3 has lost before. <laughs> I gotta make sure I take this win. Probably didn't need to buy that charm, but it looked cool. Alright, it's probably gonna be a double kill here. Oh, Sugarcraft. Yeah, why not? Why not? Why wasn't it salvager to rebuild the items on Gwen? I mean, I feel like these items are good. It's it's healing, it's shapeshifter crest for my four shapeshifter team. It's a bunch of HP, and then uh, Titans is stacking. I feel like it's pretty good. So All right. Cool. I mean, this just feels like the end. I said uh, the stream ends at 1,000 LP. And it looks like we're actually going to hit it in one game. Off the back of the egg. Wait. Wait a second. Why do I have to... Oh. Am I stupid? I thought that I needed sugar craft. But I didn't. Okay, my bad. I don't know why I did that. I, I thought I needed it. And it shouldn't matter, right? Wait, what? Oh my god, I almost lost! What? I almost lost! Holy shit! I mean, I had two lives, so it's probably fine, but what the heck? Varus? Arcana? Is that strong? My board is crazy! It was Egg, hat, Cash Out, Gwen 3, like, full level 9 board. I, like, trolled one item by accident at the end, but... I can't believe it. I mean, that's a thousand LP though. Yeah, holy shit, we did it. Wait, this Varus Arcana build is that strong? That it can almost beat a Gwen 3? Damn. It's just three Adam Varus. I mean, okay, he did hit two stars Zerath and Briar, to be fair. He did hit the full board. I'm just shocked that it can almost beat a Gwen 3. Okay, well, anyway. I mean, what can I say other than. Oh, wait, there's an ad playing. The automatic Twitch ad. Everybody stand here for one minute while we wait for the ad break to end. I'm gonna grab some water, okay? And then I have a lot to say. Hold your pogs.
my water. Is the ad break over? Oh, good timing. Okay. Ad break is over. Okay, welcome back, everybody. Sorry about the timing of the ad. Again, that was the automatic Twitch ad. I did not play that myself. I would never play an ad intentionally at the end of a game. Today's stream title says, stream ends when I hit 1,000 LP. I didn't expect it, but we immediately signed on and won. That is actually, that's probably the most unlikely outcome, honestly. I, I would have thought m way more like I'd lose a lot of LP. We hit 1,000 LP, so now you may finally call me Himothy. 1,000 LP. Oh, my only regret is that I was too tired to make that a tuber. I didn't have much energy. I didn't play the hype music. That was my bad. Before I turn on my stream, uh, I, I did not sleep well. I woke up incredibly tired. Annie told me I did something I've never done before in my sleep. She said that I, she woke up at like 9 a.m. And I was just there standing up in the middle of the room. And then she's like, what are you doing? And then in my sleep, I said, I don't know. And then I came back to bed. And I woke up feeling incredibly tired. So I'm wondering if I was standing there for a long time. I have like no energy and my brain was really slow there. I I almost lost the game on 4-1. I rolled down and I didn't finish rolling. I, like, I, I hit units and I didn't finish assembling my board. I was very lucky. I faced someone who didn't finish rolling as well or someone who didn't roll. So I was able to keep my streak. But like, if I didn't get that, I think I would have lost that game. Because losing my streak, they would have lost all momentum. Yeah, maybe I'm haunted. Holy shit. But yeah, it was very weird. So... I was telling Annie before I started my stream, I was like, I'm very conflicted, Annie. I'm so close to 1,000 LP. But also, uh, if, I, if I sign on today onto stream and play, I'm most likely going to lose because I know my brain's not on today. And then I was like, here's the pros and cons. The pros. I or The reasons to stream. I, I told everybody yesterday that I would be on today. And there's probably at least three dudes out there that's like, oh boy, I can't wait to wait for BoxBox. I can't wait for Boxbox to come online and see if he hits 1,000 LP. There's probably at least three people out there that were doing that. And it would be a huge disappointment to those three people if I didn't sign on today. Uh, also, I like to stream until Friday and then just like take the weekend off like a normal human being on a wor normal work day or a normal school week. Uh, and it kind of feels like the right schedule. So it's like kind of good to stream on this Friday. The, the bad reasons, the reasons to not stream. One, I'm tired as fuck and I'm going to play really badly. And two, um, if I were to compare Soju... Uh, to uh, like a, an object at comparing to him to like an eternal winter um, The existence of soju on twitch makes every other tft streamer lose 50% of their viewership Imagine like randomly showing up to work and being told that you're gonna make 50% less money because the eternal winter uh, showed up to work today. I Love soju. He's a, he's really funny. Uh, it, it's just like the nature of the streaming game when the bigger fish is on uh, all the other fish like die I am the second largest TFT streamer on Twitch, and my numbers, my income, my everything gets halved when Soju is online. He's the eternal winter. So the first thing I do every day, I'm not even kidding, is just wake up and see if he's streaming. Uh, I always want to aim for like uh, when he's not streaming or when he's close to ending his stream. Uh, but he's an unpredictable eternal winter. He's like a radiant eternal winter or something. Because sometimes I'll wake up, it's like, oh, he's been streaming for 11 hours. This is perfect. I'll start my stream and he'll probably get off and like I'll, I'll take over like the, the number one spot. And then he'll stream for 30 hours. <laughs> I'll finish my eight hour stream and he'll still be live. Uh, I, this used to matter a lot in League of Legends. Uh, I remember one time in high school, I begged my mom. I was like, mom, you gotta let me skip school this one time because like, I, I didn't know how to describe it to her, but I was like, mom, Doublelift, Cutie Pie, and Bjergsen are all offline today. This is my one time to like sign on and be, uh, I was like the fifth biggest league streamer. So like the four b streamers that were bigger than me and would uh, make my stream lose numbers were all offline. I was like, mom, I have to skip school today. It's so important. Uh, she actually did let me skip school. Don't tell my teacher. Uh, yeah, she let me skip school. I streamed. And I got like three times my normal viewership. Normally I get 5,000 viewers in league. I got like like 12K because I was uncontested. You know what I mean? Like like a TFT unit pool size, you guys are like the units that we're contesting for. And like on that day, you guys were uncontested. So I begged my mom to let me skip school to capitalize, to roll down. 
Yeah. Uh, anyway, sorry. I, I, there's no, not any real reason for me to tell you guys to this. I, it was just a fun concept I want to tell you about. I signed on today. Uh, I'm tired as fuck. I hit my 1,000 LP. I'm, a, I'm actually going to end my stream. I'm, I'm happy. I hit my goal. You may pog. Uh, if I keep playing, I'm very likely to lose the LP. I made a lot of mistakes that game and kind of got bailed out by like high rolls. I played well enough to capitalize on my high rolls. I chose the correct augments. I slammed the right items. And in the end, I landed on the right comp. Uh, but I was in general very slow. And I made a few, um, I made multiple minor errors that luckily I didn't get punished because everybody and their goddamn mom was loose streaking. I, have you guys ever played a lobby of seven loose streakers? Seven players, like everyone but me, was trying for a loose streak. Two or three people sold their boards. Two people were open fording or like, like inting their units. And then like another guy was just like sitting there, like not rolling. Like the other guy who was at 100 HP had 30 gold, level four, and like no units. Everybody was playing for like a strong late game. So if I didn't get egg, I was definitely gonna die. If I didn't get egg, I was probably like going second or third and just like losing to one guy who hits. Do you wanna play the sponsored game of yesterday? Mecha Bellum. Dude, that game is fucking sick. After I streamed it yesterday, the sponsor segment, Mecha Bellum. It's, like it's a new auto battle that just came out. I, I went off stream and then I taught some of my friends how to play and we played for six hours. It was really fun. Uh, am I gonna stream it? Not right now. Uh, being tired is not just like you play worse, you also stream worse. Like, I just like won't be able to talk as much or read my chat as often. So uh, I, I should do the right thing. I should end my stream. I'm happy. I got, I got my win. Uh, I'll see you guys on Monday, okay? I don't want to continue and then like perform badly, regardless of what game I play. I'd rather end it on this hype note. Oh, hey, we can raid Soju. Man's still going. Wait, actually, hang on. Are any of my usual raids online? I should almost always default raid Soju. What if I raided a very small streamer? Oh my god, do you guys smell me? Okay, as soon as I end my show, I gotta shower. I, I smell like a thousand LP. Oh my god, wait. What if I send you guys over to Daskara or Da Toast? Yeah, I'll send you guys over to. We raided Daskara recently. I'll send you guys over to Da Toast. They're playing Pico Park 2. It's actually an amazing game, by the way. This is a game that you can only experience once, so I highly recommend you find a group of like eight friends that you really like. That's the hard part, finding eight friends and then playing this game. Uh, I played Pico Park 1. And like, I have so much regret of like, or not regret, it's just like, I wish I could experience it for the first time again. So this time I'm, I'm waiting for the perfect group of eight to play this game. It's such a sick game. All right, I'll send you guys over. Uh, thanks for watching my ultra short stream, 51 minutes, world's shortest stream ever. 1000 LP, Himothy Box Box. I'll see you guys later. See you guys on Monday. <laughs> when you get to toast stream, type H and I. The letter of the day, for those of you guys that actively follow the letter of the day. The letter of the day is actually on hiatus. Uh, the guy who decides the letter of the day is sick. Uh, instead, we have the direction of the day. Uh, we have a fish in a bowl that moves in a random direction. And uh, it appears that the direction of the day is left. <laughs>